Hey guys, it's story time! So if you've been on my channel, you've seen me talk about the DISC model of human behavior with those high Ds, or outgoing and task going, and high Is, outgoing and people oriented, those Ss, reserved and people oriented, and those Cs who are reserved and task oriented, and we're all a unique blend of those traits. Well, when I first discovered this information, it was kind of, oh, you know, kind of the, the lights came on and it was pretty, pretty mind blowing. Uh, and, but the impact wasn't necessarily significant for me alone. It was significant in my relationship with my wife. So I discovered this information back in 1997. I was teaching at the time, was working at a summer camp, came back home from that summer camp one day. And my wife was kind of on the edge of the bed, you know, crying. And my wife is a high C and she doesn't cry very often. Right. So in that situation, I, I sat down beside her and I said, hey, sweetheart, what's wrong? She goes, I just don't understand you. And I was like, OK, uh, harsh. <laughs> but, but I said, what do you mean? She goes, well, you know, why don't you make the bed every day? I, and I said, I'm going to sleep in it tonight. Right. And so she goes, well, doesn't that bother you that it's, that it's you know, just kind of disheveled and kind of all over the place? I said, not really. Not for me. And I said, well, let me ask you something. Why can't we just go to Applebee's on a Friday night? She goes, what do you mean? I said, well, every time we go out, you got to find out, you know, are the neighbors there? You know, did we set the VCR? Uh, is somebody there to take care of the dogs? You know, do we have an extra key in case we get locked out? Right. So she had to have all of those things taken care of before we even went out just to Applebee's. And Applebee's is like five minutes down the road. And so she's crying. And of course, I'm a high S and I'm super sensitive. So I'm crying. And so we really didn't have a, a plan of how we're going to fix this thing. Right. So we kind of thought we knew each other. This was two years into our marriage. Right. So we weren't on the road to divorce or anything, but we just clearly were at kind of a, a stumbling block. And so that next time I went back to camp, I was introduced to this information. And I took an assessment. The guy was pretty fired up. and said, it'll change your life. I said, OK, dude, you're a little strong, but, but, but I understand. And so I took this assessment and I found out that I'm this crazy, wild, you know, love everybody, hug everybody kind of person. But that wasn't the light bulb moment. The light bulb moment was that's me, but that's not my wife. I don't know what she is, but she's not that. Right. So I came home with another assessment. Thankfully, he gave me one. I said, sweetheart, take this assessment, please. I think it's going to give you some enlightenment. So she begrudgingly took the assessment. We switched them to see the results. And that's when the light bulbs came on. Right. She's very driven, very organized, wants the, wants everyone to do their best all the time in an, an orderly way. And I'm kind of you know, spontaneous, glasses always half full, that type of thing, right? And so that really unlocked the power of our marriage, it made us a power couple. I mean, it really did, because I'm super strong in certain, certain years, and so is she. And so when we parent, we parent differently, but we play to those strengths, right? And it saved my marriage. We've been married now 25 plus years. And if you want to use information like this to help save your marriage, Look at the link below in my bio, and there's a webinar coming up here in the second week in May. Hope to see you there. Webinar coming up in May just for couples. Hope to see you there.